Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Ledger has just released a new version of Ledger Live version 2.3. So I'm going to show you how to get it downloaded and installed so that you can update your cryptocurrency wallets. So let's get started. All right, so when you launch your Ledger Live software, all right, you should see an alert that there's a new version of Ledger Live available. It should be a blue bar across the top there. Uh, I already dismissed it, so I can see it over here. Now, what they're telling you is that it won't, uh, it's a major release, so you can't do an inline upgrade, which means like you used to be able to just click and it would install while you were running Ledger Live. In this case, you actually need to go over to Ledger Live and download this new version. Now, that does not mean that you need to uninstall this version, right? And uh, you can install in place uh, and all of your current settings will be saved, right? So all you really need to do is just quit Ledger Live and go over to ledger.com. From the Ledger homepage, you can just go over to the Ledger Live section, right? And they'll tell you about Ledger Live. And then uh, go ahead and download the app and then just scroll down and get the version for your system. I'm running Windows. Notice here uh, it's version 2.30.0 for Windows, so that's the latest version. All right, and once you get that downloaded, you can open that up and uh, just uh, double click from your downloads folder. I usually just leave the uh, locations at their default. All right, and there we go, and then when we're done, we can run Ledger Live. All right, and then just get yourself logged in. Okay, and there we go. Uh, we've got, we're running the latest version now. Uh, they've updated some of their features. Oh, okay, so it looks like they've really updated the interface here now. Uh, no longer uh, need to go to the manager to install apps, which is very interesting. Install them in the flow. Uh, okay, they've got new uh, languages. Uh, they got transaction details in the sidebar. Wallet Connect now available on desktop. Bridge Live with dApps. That's pretty cool. Now, before I dive into some of these uh, and try to discover some of these new features, I should point out that all of your accounts should be here. Installing a new version of Ledger Live does not wipe your accounts in any way or form. They should all be right where they were before. So there's no need to add the accounts back or add the apps back or uh, restore your device or anything crazy like that. You know, all we're doing is uh, upgrading the software. And I should also point out that your crypto is not stored in Ledger Live or on your computer. The cryptocurrencies are stored on their respective blockchains. The private keys for your wallets are stored here. Uh, the only thing really that Ledger Live has is the public information of your wallets which will allow you to query your balances and transaction histories on the respective blockchains right so a lot of people get all hung up and they think that if their computer crashes they're going to lose their crypto and all that kind of stuff you don't need to worry about any of that everything is uh, safe and secure on your device uh, and if the device is lost or damaged then you can restore from your 24 word recovery phrase so if you have your recovery phrase and you have your device, then you don't have to worry about Ledger Live. You can uninstall it, reinstall it, uh, install it on a new computer, whatever you want to do. Uh, but like I said, this in-place upgrade uh, upgraded my software to the latest version, and all of my uh, accounts are still there and the balances are still there. So let's uh, go into Discover here and see what's happening. They're, they're showing sort of a... Uh, roadmap here. Now Paraswap and Weir are already available in Ledger Live. You can uh, swap cryptos in using Paraswap directly in Ledger Live and you can purchase cryptocurrencies using Weir directly in Ledger Live. I'm going to go ahead and try this. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm looking for the flow, right? I'm going to hit add account here and I'll try something that I know I don't have. So that's what they mean by the new flow. You don't have to proactively go over to manager to download the app first before you add the account. You can uh, simply be in the accounts interface, choose add account. And if it's a brand new cryptocurrency that you've never had on your ledger before, which is supported in Ledger Live, then you can simply 
uh, choose that cryptocurrency. And if you don't have the app installed on your device, it will automatically do that for you. So let's see what happens when we do Ethereum Classic, which I know I don't have on my device. We'll hit that. And it should bomb me out of Tron, right? And take me over to basically Ledger Manager. And uh, it's checking for the app to see if I have it. All right, and now it's installing it for me. And it's it installed it and wants me to open it, right? So uh, it sort of streamlined the process here. So let's go ahead and open that. And then it's going to complete the ad account. Scanning for any existing Ethereum Classic wallets, which I've never had Ethereum Classic on here, so it should just offer me the empty one. And there we go, right? It's just offering me an empty Ethereum Classic. So that's pretty cool. It sort of uh, streamlines your whole process for adding new apps that you've never used before. But for those of us who already have uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum on here, nothing will change, right? You'll still be able to uh, use that. And then there was that other feature they said something about uh, transaction details show in sidebar. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what that does. All right, let's go over here. All righty, let's try a receive and see what happens here. All right, it's going to have me open the Bitcoin app. All right, there it is. Confirm that. I'm going to copy that into my clipboard. Approve. Done. I don't see anything in the sidebar. Um, let's try. Uh, let's see. I have the uh, receiving address there, so why don't I go over to a different Bitcoin account, maybe consolidate a little bit and see what happens. I'll send from this account uh, over to that other Bitcoin account that I have in my ledger. Continue here. I will go ahead and send the max. We'll hit continue, continue, and then it should ask me to, okay, review, should do that. Confirm the fees. Ah, okay, so they're there. So that's what they're talking about, this sidebar. Uh, instead of a pop-up window, you're, you're getting like this sidebar that comes out to show you your transactions. Slightly different interface, a little cleaner, right? And then we can just dismiss this. You know, this account should empty out here in a second. There we go. And then I'll go over to the other account there, and I should have... Uh, so, I mean, all I really did, I just moved some Bitcoin from one Bitcoin uh, wallet to another for, within Ledger Live just to demonstrate how that new uh, transaction sidebar comes up, right? So this one emptied out and uh, transferred into this one. And basically, you can, you can manage your Bitcoin and move it between your accounts if you want to. I just did that as an example so that you could see the new sidebar version of the uh, transaction details window, right? A little less obtrusive than it used to be, right? It used to sort of pop up and prevent you from doing anything else during that. So now it's a little less obtrusive, a little more, you know, multitasking oriented, All right? So that's it. Uh, we've got the new flow model for installing apps rather than having to uh, manually go over to the manager before you install the new account with a, a new cryptocurrency. And then we've got the uh, sidebar notifications of transaction details. So, uh, and uh, as you'll notice, you know, there are a lot of new features in Ledger Live uh, that had been added over the last several months uh, that, you know, I believe this Discover is new to this version, but uh, they've recently added the buy and sell and swap features, you know, with some new services so that it's kind of a one-stop shop for crypto rather than just a wallet. Ledger Live does a lot more than just hold your cryptocurrency and you know transfer back and in and out, right? Now you can actually buy directly in Ledger Live or sell, and then you can also swap cryptos directly in Ledger Live. 
And of course, you've got this lend feature, which has been around a while, but now you can see that there's quite a lot of uh, additional features in Ledger Live as opposed to it just being a wallet, right? So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on in Ledger Live. I just uh, downloaded it myself, so I thought I'd do a recording. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.